squad? What it do? Squad check, squadron. Where y'all at? Where y'all at, man? It's your boy Stunner Reese, man. And today, your boy is taking you with me, man. That's right. I'm going to do a review on no other than the Hellcat. Yeah, okay. That's right, man. I'm going to do a one-month review and let y'all know what I think about the Hellcat, Yellcat yeah, after owning it for one month, man. And I'm going to let y'all know, is it a W or is it an L? All right, so y'all stay tuned, man. It's your boy Stunner Reese, and you watching Stunner Reese Live. Let's get it. What up, squad? You're checking out the best YouTube channel for Hellcats, custom cars, car reviews, car shows, parties, travel, and more. So hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. Monsters. Got the thumper on them, can you tell that? OG on them, can you smell that? Pull up on them in the Hellcat like a... All right, squad, so today is December 12th, and your boy is going to do a review on the Yellow Cat, man. And I'm going to take y'all along with me, man. We're going to have a little adventurous ride. You know what I'm saying? And we might do a couple of other little extra things. As a matter of fact, we're going to go Christmas shopping for Lucy. She upstairs asleep, so we can't let her know. But, yeah, Christmas shopping for Lucy. You guys got to help me pick out something. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do a review on the Hellcat Cat, Yellow Cat. And I'm going to take you guys with me. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to just go through some of the pros and some of the cons and some of the, you know, just ideas and things that I've been getting from you guys on what I should do to the Hellcat, Yellcat. And then we're going to all chop it up, man, and see what we think is good, what we think is bad, man. So y'all stay tuned, man. As y'all can see, man, we got the Tall Guy Car Reviews, man, video that I did. If y'all haven't checked that out, man, go check out that review that I did when Tall Guy Car Reviews came to the Chicagoland area. For a pit stop to hook up with your boy, man, and some other YouTube subscriber from the area. So, y'all check that out, man, as well. Just in case y'all can't see it, that's my boy Dre Roush. Yeah, but definitely go back and check out that video, man, and all the other ones too, man, and watch the ass. All right, man, without further ado, let's get it, man. Let's go out here, jump in the hell, okay, you okay, and get on out of here, man. All right, squad, so today is very cold out, you know what I'm saying? But I think this is probably gonna be one of the last days that I'm gonna drive the Hellcat, you know what I'm saying, man? Um, because it's so cold. I know you guys can't see me, but it is so cold outside. Yes, it is. I just love this car, man. That's my first initial thoughts on my one month review. But before I get started, man, bless you guys with a cold start. I love that growl. We're about to start with the review, but before I get started, I want to just give you guys a warning, guys. If you guys are ever trying to go out in the cold and drag radios, be very, very careful. Almost just did a 360, man. Ooh, no gas. And as you guys can see, I'll show you guys right now. Let me just pull up my performance pages. I am in eco mode. So be very careful. Got to get this phone call. All right, squad, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this uh, one-month review, man. I'll give you guys my uh, pros and cons, what I like about the car, what I love about the car, and some things, like I said, I wish uh, could be a little different. After a month of owning this car, the things that I love is I love the look. I definitely love the look of the car, man. The car looks so aggressive, so sinister. I love the hood. I actually like this hood over the demon hood. Uh, I mean, just the heat extractors and the vent in the front, man, is just so sexy to me, man. It's like Dodge could have did a better job of designing the Challenger, man, as far as the, the look of the car. Um, you know, they, they like really knocked it out the park with the Hellcat, man. And uh, especially the wide body. I really, really like the wide body. I'm really, really considering putting that wide body fenders on here, man, because I'm just, the way they look, they look really good. So 
just something I'm thinking about doing, squad. So let me know in the comment section right now what y'all think about that, man. Should your boy put the wide body Hellcat, Hellcat fenders on the Yellcat, man? So let me know, guys. All right, so number two. The number two thing I really, really love about this car, man, after the one month of having it, is I love the versatility. Now, what I mean about versatility is the ability to ride in eco mode when I don't want to burn a lot of gas or what I'm not high performance driving, I can put the car in a more streetable mode and uh, just drive it and cruise it daily, you know what I'm saying? And get 20 miles to the gallon, which is crazy for a 707 horsepower vehicle. But it's just, uh, man, they just did a great job of, you know what I'm saying, designing the car uh, so that it's, it's streetable, uh, but it is uh, able to go into a high performance mode. And a lot of cars can do that, but to the level of this one, man, they just did a real good job, man. And uh, that's one of the things I definitely say Dodge did a great job on uh, putting this car together, man. Definitely. Salute to y'all, Dodge, for real. All right, number three. The comfortability and the size. Like, I've been riding this car for a month, and I got a little less than 1,400 miles on it so far. In this month's time I've had it, I definitely know that the seats are very, very comfortable. Uh, a lot of spacious room, headroom, plenty of arm room. And a lot of people complain about the blind spots on this car, but it's really not that bad. Not to me, especially with the assistance of the uh, mirrors that has the blind spot monitors on it. It just makes it real simple, man. So, man, dude, I, I, you know, like I said, a lot of people complain about it, but to me, it's really not that bad, man. But squad, you know what I'm saying? If you ever have an opportunity, man, definitely, definitely take a ride in a Hellcat. If you get an opportunity to drive one, definitely do that, man. You'll love the comfortability of it, you know, for, even for long road trips. Even if I had to take a long road trip in this car, it wouldn't be a problem. I got plenty of leg room, plenty of hair room. I'm not squished up, you know what I'm saying, like in a Corvette. Uh, and, and I like Corvettes too, but I mean, as far as everyday drivability and user-friendly, this is definitely the way to go. And last but not least, man, who's going to ever 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 forget about the horsepower man you can't man you can't forget about the horsepower man the horsepower is so ludicrous crazy and you also have the ability to put more horsepower to this car and it's still very streetable i just love that you know what i'm saying you could easily put 850 rear wheel horsepower to the ground on this car and still it'll be very streetable man. And the other thing I love about my Hellcat is that it's yellow. That's right, man. I love the fact that it's yellow and it's the Yellcat. You know what I'm saying? You don't see a lot of yellow ones. Uh, and it, it's just different, man. I love it. All right. So some of the things I'm not as happy about owning the Hellcat as I would like to be is the brake dust. Yeah, the brake dust on this car is absolutely unreal the amount of brake dust this car produces. And I mean, I, I get it, you know, they Brembo's with high performance pads, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, meant to work well, you know what I'm saying? A lot of different situations and stuff, but man, it is so hard to keep these rims and this car clean with the amount of brake dust, especially with it being yellow. Just one of those things, man, that you gotta deal with. But if Brembo could come out with another brake pad that doesn't have as much brake dust, man, I think the Dodge owners would really, really love that, man. So I don't know, guys, Dodge, you know, Brembo, if you guys could get that together, that would definitely help us out a lot. All right, squad, so I'm taking a quick pit stop to sign Rama. I gotta actually change out my Instagram uh, stickers on the car. I'm actually gonna put my other Instagram on here, Hellcat, Yellcat for the car. So I'm gonna switch out these uh, Instagram stickers. So, guys, so that was quick and painless. They will be ready tomorrow. Uh, they actually got a big order they working on, but if you need any uh, lettering, definitely hit them up, man. 708-895-5885 if you're in the Chicagoland area. All right, squad, so the only other thing that has kind of been uh, something I think they should have did is the front parking sensors. I mean, that's really it. You know, other than that, man, I love the car. It would have been nice if they had the front parking sensors. Coming from the Bentley and it had them, you know what I'm saying? That's the only other thing. 
it's not like I park the car, uh, you know, all the time where I need them, but in my garage, you know what I'm saying, pulling in and out of my driveway, you know what I'm saying? I'm just so used to it. So it just always made, gave me that extra level of confidence, um, you know, when I was uh, driving the car. So, you know, so it wouldn't get damaged. That's a, a big thing for us. Hellcat homeless Dodge, give us front parking sensors, please. All right, squad. So that pretty much wraps it up for my one month review as far as the car. You know, guys, I love the car. I'm going to be honest with you. It is the most fun car I have ever owned. You know what I'm saying? And that's simply due to the power. The power is just unreal. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely addictive, but you have to respect it, man. That's the one thing about this car. You have to respect the power because if you don't respect it, you get in trouble really fast and really bad. You know what I'm saying? And you'll end up losing your license, really, because uh, the car just cruises at 80, 90 miles an hour so effortlessly that you know what i'm saying you don't even realize you're going that fast so you know what i'm saying shout out to dodge man on doing such a great job with this package man i love it i love it i love it well now we about to pull up to the mall guys like i told you guys earlier we gonna go shopping and get lucy's christmas present together that's right man so you guys let me know right now man before we even get to the mall what do you think i should get my wife lucy for christmas ladies y'all definitely uh should uh, chime in on this one but yeah we pulling up to the mall guys so y'all stay tuned man we're about to try to get lucy's christmas present right now all right squad so i'm gonna tell you guys something right now man you know you got the right car when whenever you're walking away from it you look back at it yeah you know you picked the right one all right so we in the mall Trying to find something for Lucy. It's gotta be special, man. For a special woman. Let's see what we can find. All right, squad, so it's done. You can never go wrong. I just hope she likes it. But yeah, man, I got her Christmas gift. So leave in the comment section right now if you can guess what it is. Obviously, what kind. Okay, squad, so we're going to close it out, man. I thank you guys for rocking out with me, man. But before we close it out, I'm going to give you guys one quick look at the Hellcat Yellcat out here in the sun. Man, this thing is bad. You guys could definitely see why I love it so much, man. It looks so elegant. The yellow wheels definitely set it off. Wait till I put the lower springs on it and close up that gap. It's really going to set it off. Got the new stickers coming. Just a dope ride, man. Just a dope ride, man. Dope. All right, squad. So we're going to go ahead and close it out, man. It's officially over, man. It's your boy, Stunner Reese, man. If it's your first time checking in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss a thing. All right, squad. I'm out of here, man. It's freezing. I'm gone. And you watching Stunner Reese Live. Let's get it, man. See you on the next one. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, take a ride with me, and watch all my videos below, and thanks, and you watching Stunner Reese Live.